What you guys got another video? When is Windows 12 coming? I see so many websites out there promoting Windows 12, rumors, leaks, and all this sort of stuff. And you can see here, Microsoft leaked a UI concept in 2022. It looks something like this with a floating taskbar. And of course, this was published in 2022 by Zach Bowden. And of course, uh, this was a snapshot of a mock-up of basically what Microsoft posted on their website. Windows 12 may be coming in 2024, according to this report, and that was posted in 2022. YouTube is no different. Tons of videos about Windows 12 and when it's coming, and it's coming all by big YouTubers, and basically, it's not coming. And let me tell you why. Because Microsoft are probably waiting on the end of Windows 10, and what they're trying to do is focus on Windows 11 and trying to get people to upgrade to Windows 11 first before they even mention uh, that Windows 12 is going to be released you can see here there is a slight shift where windows 10 is starting to decline a little bit and windows 11 is on the increase a little bit and this is pretty normal and this will ramp up due to the end of windows 10 this will start ramping up quite a bit so microsoft have no intention of releasing windows 12 just yet because there's no mention of it from microsoft themselves microsoft have not officially confirmed windows 12 is even going to be released and it doesn't seem likely to be released anytime soon so microsoft's real focus is improving windows 11 and also encouraging people to upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 right now now microsoft did post a blog saying that in 2025 would be the year of the Windows 11 refresh. And that's what they plan on doing. So what does that mean? Does that mean they're revamping Windows 11 and they're not going to be releasing Windows 12? Let me be honest with you. No one really knows because Microsoft have not mentioned anything at all about Windows 12. So all of these videos you see online are all pretty much fake no one knows because there is no leak at all of Windows 12 coming anytime soon. So every article you see online is just assuming or guessing at best. There is no real evidence of Windows 12 coming anytime soon. But I will say that the rumors for Windows 12 was expected to be released between uh, late 2025 and early 2026. Uh, this will coincide with the end of Windows 10 support. So if Windows 12 was released, what would be the features? Well, I would say it's probably going to be artificial intelligence, basically AI, and that is going to be integrated into Windows 12 if it's ever released in a major scale. I would say that AI is going to play a key role on the release of Windows 12 when it is released or if it's released. But again, that would be guessing because there is no evidence out there for Windows 12. Microsoft have not leaked one bit of information about Windows 12 to the general public. Now, there's also been a bit of information about Windows 11 25 H2 and whether this will be uh, Windows 12, where they've hidden code in there and, and stuff like that. I really don't know whether that is the case. I mean, we'll have to wait and see what Microsoft have plans for. I really can't see... Microsoft really putting all the concentration onto Windows 12 when Windows uh, 10 is more popular than Windows 11. Windows 11 doesn't have large audience as of yet. It's only 30 odd percent. So compared to Windows 10, which is in the 60 percent mark, I don't think they're just going to go ahead and start releasing Windows 12 when obviously Windows 11 is really struggling for users. So are all of these people that are on Windows 10 unhappy with Windows 11 and are they going to jump ship and jump onto Linux? I can't see a massive load of people just jumping ship to Linux. It's never happened before and I can't see it happening anytime soon. This is pretty common where Windows operating systems, uh, people hang on to it because they don't like change. But eventually when the end is near, people will start jumping onto Windows 11 and you'll probably see the percentage start to climb a little bit later on near the end date of Windows 10. People don't like change and it was the same for Windows 10. No one really liked Windows 10 when it was released and uh, people just didn't want to upgrade to it. But the same thing now happens to Windows 11. People are not using it. They're happy on Windows 10. But eventually Windows 10 will come to an end. You might get a small group of people that will stay on Windows 10, even though it's not supported, or they might pay the $30 to extend uh, the Windows updates for another year on Windows 10. 
But the majority of people will either upgrade to uh, Windows 11 or hopefully there might be a new operating system released by Microsoft when they release it, but they haven't released any information whatsoever. There's not even an inkling of Windows 12 yet. And with Microsoft mentioning the year of the Windows 11 refresh, it's probably more likely that you're not going to see a new operating system until uh, 2027. So that will probably be another version of Windows, whether it's called Windows 12 or whatever they call it, it probably won't be released until around about then. But again, there is no evidence of Microsoft even developing Windows 12 at this stage. So we really don't know. So all of this uh, stuff you're seeing online is just clickbait, really, to get views. So that's unfortunate for a lot of people that are waiting on a new operating system, hoping to skip Windows 11. But Windows 12, if they do release one, will probably be more centered around AI and it's going to be embedded into that operating system more than what we see with Windows 11. And that's one big thing that people just don't like. Recall, AI and all these other features. It seems this is the way that Microsoft are going. So how can I confidently say that Windows 12 won't be released? Well, a simple case is there is no evidence out there for Windows 12. There's no screenshots. There's nothing. There's no code snippets of Windows 12 being mentioned by Microsoft. Someone would have leaked something by now, and there is nothing. All of it, what you see online, is just pretty much fake news. Windows 11 only has 30% of the user base, uh, whereas Windows 10 has 60-odd percent. So basically, uh, Windows 11 does need more work done to it. They're only just starting to work on the start menu for Windows 11 and start to work on that. And that's been out for a long time now, Windows 11, with a really big, ugly start menu. And there's lots of other things that Microsoft need to finish on Windows 11 before it can even be considered a finished operating system. It's work in progress. So maybe they don't plan on releasing another version just yet, and they're just really getting... Uh, Windows 11, uh, you know, buttoned up and really finished off. If you go to the blog site for Windows here from Microsoft and do a search for Windows 12, you'll find there's no information about Windows 12 because there is no Windows 12 as of yet. It's just people just pulling your chain. And because people are so gullible, uh, they believe it and they watch it. And I've seen them. Some of these videos have got hundreds of thousands of views on them. Same thing goes for the RTX 5090 catching on fire. That just literally went like wildfire, them videos, because everyone started making them. And yet there was just one image on the internet that mentioned about a cable catching fire, and all of a sudden they've got major problems with uh, 5090s. You know, it's just the way the internet works. If you do a search for Windows 12 release date, you'll see pages and pages and pages of them, of people constantly making content, whether it be articles or whether it be YouTube videos, and this is the way it works. The people are doing it for clicks and views and money. That's all it's about. I've even seen fake videos with actual operating systems called Windows 12. And all it is is a GUI pack that someone's put in there and called it Windows 12 and trying to trick people for views. And there's people falling for it all the time. So just use a bit of common sense, do a bit of research, and you'll see there's tons and tons of websites out there with Windows 12 in the title, just like this one will be. And of course, people will watch it because it has Windows 12 in it, but it doesn't necessarily mean Windows 12 is going to be released. That's why I've got a question mark in the title before the trolls start going in the comments section. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, with that said, I shall see you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.